everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Explore the Spectrum. Today, we are with Alicia from The Mom Kind. Hi, Alicia. How are you doing? Great. How are you today? Doing well. Thank you. So The Mom Kind is pretty vague. Let's narrow that down. You're helping a lot of families that are navigating autism. And not only are you helping families that are navigating autism, you seem to be focused in helping families that have multiple children with autism, which is happening more frequently than I think most of us would like to admit. And that that's kind of fun to know that you're doing that. And in my opinion, you know, of course, I looked into it a little bit. It's it's um, growing the families that you know that have multiple children on the spectrum, but you know that firsthand. You know that because of your life experience. Tell us how you got involved with wanting to start a company that helps other families. Absolutely. So we have three children who are autistic. And when we first started getting our diagnosis, I was looking for information online, trying to see what it was like to parent multiple children on the spectrum. And even though I had my children, I still wanted to, you know, like know more. And what I found was very minimal. Um, there was one other family sharing their story at the time, and this was many years ago. And so we started sharing our story online through the website just to kind of give others that chance to really see what it was like inside another family that was dealing with a similar situation. And from there, we've just kind of grown. Um, so that, like I said, the mom kind of does sound vague, but really it is all about autism parenting and parenting neurodiverse children in general, because we find that even if there is only one autistic child, typically there are multiple children that are neurodiverse in the family, whether that's you know ADHD or they're struggling with anxiety, depression. And so many families are kind of in the same boat we were in and we wanted to kind of help others. And so when you're helping others, what does that look like? I know sharing your story is important because all too often we feel isolated and feel alone. And so you letting people into your world is huge. And I thank you for that. But when you're wanting to help them understand those resources that you were looking for, what does that mean? What are you doing for them? So we've started uh, doing coaching and that's sometimes individually as well as group coaching in which we really help parents navigate their own individual situations, but typically with the same skills that all of us need. You know, routine and structure are huge. So we teach parents how to develop that routine and structure in their family's lives, as well as navigating resources within their own community. Uh, because there are a lot of great free resources available, but parents don't know they exist, even know to look for them. That's right. Happens all the time that way. You're right. Now, you said it's been many moons since you got involved in all of this with your kids. So how old are your children now? So my children are, my the ones that are autistic are, my youngest is eight. And then we have a 15 and 16 year old. Okay. So when you're helping families, you're really helping them navigate all the different phases because your 15 and 16 year olds are going into that transition phase of needing guidance on um, what, guardianship and trusts and school options and things of that nature are doing and you've obviously handled the younger years very well and so you really can be a source of a lot of information for parents that no matter where they are in the journey they're able to get some keen insight from you um, is there any one thing that you feel like is unique, different, something that you bring to the table with your experience with families that they might not find somewhere else? Yeah, absolutely. So like you said, there is a range that I've had from not only the ages and going into those adult years uh, with, you know, like that leaving high school, going into jobs, things like that. But I've had, you know, this different time periods of diagnosis and what that can look like and how that it can, can impact the whole family. We've had an early mm -hmm. diagnosis at 23 months. We've also had diagnosis at eight and 11 years old. And then I received my own autism diagnosis at 33. So we really have navigated all the aspects of, you know, the first few decades really of what autism can look like for an individual. Yeah, that is special. And I hope that folks um, look into learning more from you. I know you've got a large following. If someone were to reach out to you, where's the best place for them to land? Is that a website? Would you suggest social media? Where would you point everyone? 
you know, I'd say come on over to the website. That is where everything's kind of the big hub of all the information is the momkind.com. And you can reach out directly there and get in touch with me and we can work with you. Well, I appreciate you being on this morning, but I really appreciate all the work that you're doing. So many parents do struggle to find that friend in the community. And it looks like you've stepped up to be that person to help them know what's out there and what options and a little bit of encouragement and some hope may be sprinkled in there too, especially when they get to know you and your story. So thank you for doing all that you do and for being with us today. Absolutely, thank you. And to all of our viewers, thank you for joining us as we continue to explore the possibilities.